my hand. Reach and pull. Set. All right, we're going to pick up those heels. Two to a hand curl.
going to be a fit to stand. So this is what this is like the squat. Squat is called fit to stand. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in front of our chair. We're all going to have a seat. Then we're all going to stand up. That's going to be move number one. So if you join me in a seated position, get those feet on hip width apart. You can press through the heels and stand. Okay. We'll do four of those, then we'll add on. Okay. So stand. Good. Have a seat. Good. Stand. Good. Have a seat. Two more. Keep it going. Good. One more. Perfect. Have a seat. Start next thing. We're going to add a bicep curl as we stand up. So we'll stand. Curl. Have a seat. Okay. Stand. Curl. Have a seat. Keep it going. Stand. Curl. Have a seat. One more time. Stand. Curl. Have a seat. We're going to add on part three. Okay. Stand. Curl. Overhead press. Back down. Have a seat. Stand. Curl. Overhead press. Have a seat. Good. Keep it going. We've got three of these with the three parts. We're going to go for a total of eight. That one is four. Four more. Here we go. Stand. Curl. Press. Keep it going. Three more. Curl. Press. Two more. Perfect. We need one more. And it's going to jump. We need to get through side. Okay. We do a little movement with our feet. Okay. I'm going to hold my weight with my hand. So all we're going to do is we're going to step and then kind of cross across the body. Let me start with my right. Okay. So I'm going to cross my body. Cha cha cha. Cross my body. Cha cha cha. The cha 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 is just a little march, march, march. There in the center. Okay. I'm going to start adding a little swing with that weight. Swing with my weight. Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. Good. Keep it going. Four more here. Keep moving those feet. Even if you didn't quite get it, that's fine. We'll do one more step. Here we go. Good. Bring it back to the center. Mark it right here. Okay. Get those elbows. Okay. Take a deep toe wide tap. This is one you can do too. We're going to cross over and under. Over and under. I'm slowing my arms down. I got a little excited there for a second. I tried to speed it up. But so slowing it down. Thank you. 
didn't say that. That's good. All right, one more. Stand, curl, press. Perfect. All right. When you do that, cross the body, cha cha cha. Lean the weight, okay? So like cross, march, 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 cross, march, march, march. Good. Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. And if the coordination's a little much, just move those feet. The most important part is that you're moving your body. Good. Three more here. Three. A Kathy likes something. Two.
five more if you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. So we'll take it off and we'll do that other side. Same deal. Okay? Take it across the top of my shoe, around the bottom, pull it back up. Okay? So I've got a nice loop around that shoe, around that foot. <coughs> you don't want the band to pop off of the shoe and hit some face or somebody else's face. That's, that's the thing we want to prevent. Who tried? All right, anybody need help? All right, we bend our knee, straighten it up. Bend the knee, straighten it up. Good, keep it going. Good. Give me four. Three, two, good, and one. Perfect. Let's take that band off of that foot. Okay. We're going to put it underneath both of our feet on the ground. <laughs> good job, I'm going to put our feet in the ground. Once I've got it under both, I'm going to cross that band because I'm going to sit nice and tall. We're going to be doing a seated row. These are great for posture, great for those upper back muscles. So sit nice and tall, elbows pull back towards the chair. Good. Elbows pull back. Good. Keep it going. Perfect. All right. Do two more like this. And one. Now go right. Row right. Row left. Go back to right. And left. Bless you. Right. Rotate and pull. Three more like this. Three. Give me two. Give me one more. Perfect. All right. Come back to center. Both sides. We'll do another set. We'll do ten of that set. Then we'll be done with our row. Okay. Sit tall. Pull back. Both elbows. Go. Keep it going. All right, four more. Four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Okay. With the band around our feet still, and the band still crossed, I'm going to bring my band either to my knees or to my hips, a little more tension. I'm going to do just a few exercises for the ankle. Okay. I'm going to take the toes out and in. Out and in. Good. Out and in. Keep it going. A simple little move, but it works a lot on those little tendons, which are really important for stability. Give me three, two, and one. Perfect. Take the heel. Heel go out and in. Out and in. Keep it going. Give me three, two, and one. Perfect. One more move. We'll do toes, heels. Toes, heels. Okay, here we go. Toes, heels. Toes, heels. Keep it going. Toes, heels. Perfect. Five more. Toes, heels. Four, three, two, one. Perfect. All right, we're done with our band. That way, what piece of equipment? Bubble. Oh. Oh. So feel free to grab a sip of water. Oh. Try to check this on your chair, put it away.
me four, three, two, one, pause. Let's take it the other direction. There we go. That's right. Give me four, three, two, one. Perfect. Put your ball with you to your chair. We're going to bring that ball in between the thighs, okay? So halfway between knees and hips. We're going to press our thighs in and out. Press, out. Press, release. Good. In, out. In, out. Like a good little squeeze and out. Squeeze and out. Keep it going. Good. Make sure to sit nice and tall. Give me three, two, one. We're going to quicken those little pulses. Pulse. Pulse. Good. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. All right. We're going to take the ball in the palm of our hand. We're going to walk it up to our shoulder and back down with our fingers. Okay? We're going to roll it. Take the ball for a walk. And roll it back on down. Good. Keep it going. Touch skill, touch grace. Give me three more here. Two. And one. I almost lost my hand for a second. All right, let's switch to the other side. Here we go. Roll it up. Roll it down. Good. So in my 6 a.m. circuit class yesterday, we did a workout that I called the Great Pumpkin Workout, one that can theoretically be done with a pumpkin. Um, we used medicine balls, but last year when I was teaching from my basement, I literally used a pumpkin. Um, <laughs> all right, give me three, two, and one. Perfect. All right. We're going to come back and put this back between our thighs. In. So we are going to do 10 second squeezes. We're going to squeeze in as hard as we can, pressing on that ball for 10 seconds. Then we'll release, take a few breaths. We'll come back. We'll do that three times. Okay? All right. Here we go. Press in, squeeze for 10, 8, 4, 2, one, release. Take a deep breath in and out. One more time in and out. All right, we'll do another one. Squeeze in for 10. We'll let the clock do it so it'll be an actual 10 seconds instead of mine, which could be anywhere from 8 to 72. Just okay, <laughs> three, two, one, release. Breathe in and out. One more time, in and out. All right, squeeze in, hold, this is the last one. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good. Halfway, over halfway, three, two, one. Perfect job, okay? All right, we're gonna take this ball, and we're just gonna hold it here for a second, and we're gonna do some knee smashers. We've done them standing, we've done them seated. We're gonna bring the ball up or lower, excuse me, towards the knee. And we're going to bring that foot up off the floor, okay? Remember to sit nice and tall. As you bring the ball down, do a little bit of a squeeze, and okay? a little bit of a crunch with the abs. Keep it going. <laughs> I'm glad I'm delighted today. <laughs> Three, three, two, and one. Perfect. You take it to some heels right here. Heels, okay? And then you have figure eight with that infinity sign, okay? With the ball. I think I'm kind of big, taking it almost, you know, down my leg. Keep it going. Give me three, two, one. Perfect. All right, take this ball back in between the thighs, okay? So, you're just 
show you our move. We're going to see what we can do. Okay? So our move, and you can grab the bottom of your chair kind of to like help you hold on to your feet. But it's a tall, I'm going to straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Does anybody have a hard time doing both legs? Are we okay? We can do one leg and then the other if we can't do both, okay? That's a good modification if you're not quite there yet. All right, if you can, both and down, both and down, good. We need three, two, one, perfect. Grab that knee, grab that ball back, excuse me, knee smasher, okay? Arms come up, ball towards the knee, ball towards the knee, good. Do a little seated march. Perfect. A little crunch right here. Give me four, three, two, one. Perfect. Give me a little skills. Okay. A little skills. Get that figure eight. All right, you need two. One, switch the direction of your figure, right? Take it the other way. Good. Correct. 
questions, but that's correct. Good. Perfect. All right, hopefully your heart rate is starting to come down. We're going to be grabbing that ball again and doing a little bit of self-massage and then continuing with the rest of our stretches, okay? So I'm going to grab my ball. If you do need a drink, feel free to grab a sip of water, okay? <coughs> hopefully, you know, you, hopefully you don't think you need my permission to drink water. You may drink at any period of time, but we do provide convenient breaks and reminders. We're going to be starting with that ball on our legs. Pressing and rolling into the thighs, okay? Remember, if you're finding a little knot, so just place it where it feels really good, kind of roll as you sit there. Otherwise, you can kind of travel around. Keep it going. I'm gonna take it over to my other leg. I know, I know. It's a classic. Make sure you're traveling around that leg. Perfect. Gently come back to center. 
Heel toe lifts, feet back in. Okay? I'm going to bring one ankle up on my thigh. If you can't quite get there, you can bring it lower. Okay? But I'm going to take a hand to my ankle, hand to my knee. Hinge forward. Okay? Good. You <laughs> can see it opening. Let's sit up and do that other side. Good job. Hand on ankle, hand on knee. Hinge forward. Do perfect spooky end here. Sit tall, bring both feet to the ground. We're going to do a seated twist. So sit tall, hand comes across. Other hand can either go below on the chair or high, whichever feels more natural, and look over that shoulder. I think that's the end of the Halloween playlist. I didn't want us to have spooky music while we were doing our relax, relaxing the breaths at the very end. <laughs> All right, come to center. Let's do that other side. Reach across and either go low on the chair or high. Look over your shoulder. It was perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome, Kathy. <laughs> All right, come back to center. Good. We're going to bring an arm across our body. We're going to grab it on the upper arm above the elbow and just kind of hug it into the chest, okay? Feeling a stretch through that shoulder. Good. While we're here, I'm going to just circle my wrist, loosen it up a little bit. Circle it the other way. Good. So release, bring this other arm across. Hold. And circle the wrist. Good. Circle the other way. And release. Bring the arms out to the side. Okay? Do little circles with the shoulders. That's right. Pull the other direction. My kids do Taekwondo, and every year their Taekwondo instructor has like a Halloween party, and it's just sort of fun. They wear their costumes. Just bring the arms out and across. Out and across. So they had Taekwondo last night, and they did a pinata. And you sh I wasn't there when they broke it open, but I show up, and my daughter has, like, I don't know, like an arm full of candy, like, you know, like this much. And the Taekwondo instructor tells me, he said, yeah, he said it was hilarious. I'm going to your side, I'm going to shrug them off and release, shrug them off and release. He's like, yeah, the pinata broke open, and your daughter, she just took her arms like a lasso, put them around the candy, and then, like, backed away. <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> <laughs>